MLB DFS picks Monday, June 17th. DraftKings caves under the pressure. They're adding the six o'clock games to this slate. And why not? We get Mr. Paul Skeens. Obviously, that's the reason why we're going to throw in the six o'clockers. We didn't need them. But along with them comes Sonny Gray. And Sonny Gray may be in a better spot, although they're both in preferable ballparks, as you can see. Miami's pretty good of a ballpark to pitch in, and Miami is a pretty good team to face. But don't sleep on Skeens, who's going to face a Cincinnati team that loves to strike out. And he loves to strike batters out. Now, he will give up hard contact because he pitches hard. And, you know, if it were in Cincinnati, he might be a little bit worried about some balls flying over the fence. But in Pittsburgh, he'll probably be just fine. And if you can pay for both, great, but you probably can't because it's also a core slate with the Dodgers in Colorado. Tough decisions that you're going to have to make. There's no way you're going to be able to get both of these guys and then also get some exposure to a core slate that will probably go off on Monday. So tough decisions to make, unique directions to go into. Max Freed, it's there. I don't mind it. Detroit has been hot over the last week, but overall, long sample size over the course of the season. They're not hitting lefties. He's doing everything he needs to do, but can he get the strikeouts that Skeens and Gray are going to get? Probably not. Yusuke Kikuchi against Boston. I don't love it, but we do have to consider the fact that Boston strikes out 29% of the time versus lefties, and he does come at a... A significant discount compared to Gray, but he's really not that much cheaper than the phenom Paul Skeen, so eh, don't really need to go there. I'm not as aggressive on Nick Pavetta. It's there. He's got the strikeouts. I think my biggest concern is just like the matchup just is not as good, although Toronto has been really cold. 61 WRC plus over the last week, so there is something to take advantage of there does give up a little bit too many home runs strikeout rate it's you know it's definitely a pivot it is cheaper but if i'm up in this range then i feel like i just need to spend or go cheap the next pitcher that i would consider is jordan hicks san francisco at chicago x 375 era is even lower obviously the x is going to be a little bit higher for a guy that's a ground ball pitcher that doesn't strike out too many batters not that he doesn't strike out enough but obviously you know the advanced metrics love strikeouts they don't like ground ball pitchers they don't like guys that just get regular outs oh it's too random it's too much based on defense ah, i get it but he is facing a team that does strike out at an above average rate so we like the 24 percent carry from chicago a 141 ISO, that's not a lot of pop. 300 Woba, that's not very good. A 95 WRC plus. And then you look at it over the last week, they've been even worse. So you could go for Hicks for a little bit of savings, but that might not be enough savings to ultimately work out. And so we got to jump down to the bottom. We'll start with David Peterson, a guy that everybody was on the last time he pitched, the last slate versus Miami. He did win the game. He didn't ultimately pitched that well and he is only 6,000 he's facing Texas it's not as ideal as it was against Miami but Texas against lefties 115 ISO all right we'll take that 294 Woba we'll take that 87 WRC plus they've been cold over the last week gets the ground balls now the strikeout rate with a pitcher that we would have to spend up for then that probably wouldn't work now again it is a smaller sample size but he could make it work at 6,000 in a matchup that checks out. The biggest concern that I would have is the ballpark. Texas, the ball is flying out of there. It has generated a lot of runs, so you may want to be less bullish on that. Carson Spires is, you know, talk about overreacting to a small sample size or not. The guy worked well throughout the minors for Cincinnati, worked his way up. And then he does a fill-in. Frankie Montas gets injured in his last game, and Spires comes in and strikes out seven batters, goes five innings, and he earns a spot start, and he'll be pitching in a, you know, generally a pitcher's ballpark. Obviously, 94-100.
And he's facing a Pittsburgh team that strikes out against righties, that doesn't hit against righties. This is a, you know, obviously we haven't seen a lot from him in the majors, but in the minors, he's just worked his way up. And last week, he pitched really well against the Cubs. I know it's the Cubs. But if we're trying to save at 6,600, probably a little bit more upside than you're going to get out of David Peterson. You also don't have to worry about the park. And then again, we saw what David Peterson did last week. Yeah, he got the win against Miami, but he did give up four earned runs against Miami. So Carson Spires would be the place to go. Now, looking at our stacks, pretty simple, Colorado. The cheaper stack against Paxton. Don't know if you really want to go there, but when you look at Paxton, not striking batters out, walking batters, the numbers 543 XFIP. So if we get a slight discount on Colorado, then you go there. Uh, if you can afford Los Angeles against Cal Quantrell, then you go there again, not striking batters out, walking too many batters. You attack this spot, but you're going to have a hard time affording all those Dodgers, especially if you're going to Gray and Skeens. Obviously, going to Carson Spires is going to open that up a little bit. And then we can go down to the Angels versus Carlos Rodriguez. And this is just simply you know, not so much Carson or Carlos Rodriguez as it is We've got a hot team in Los Angeles. Maybe you want to consider that. And then last but not least, the Phillies are, uh, last time I checked, a really good team. And they're facing a pitcher that doesn't strike batters out and is allowing a 1.9 home runs per nine. 429 XFIP, a high home run to fly ball rate. for And that high home run to fly ball rate for a pitcher who was allowing a decent amount of fly balls. So if you can afford Philly, maybe they come in a little bit cheaper than Los Angeles. But those are your pay-up stacks. Probably cheaper stack here, cheaper stack here. That should do it. Thanks for joining me. Like, subscribe, share. Have a good Monday.